Hello and welcome to Consulting Ninja. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for me. If you find this content helpful, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video. Comment below with your thoughts or topics you'd like me to cover and check out my website, consultingninja.tech. With that out of the way, let's get right to it. I'm going to tell you guys about a recent vulnerability that was found in the Vite server options and I'm going to show you guys how NPM recommends updating and checking your packages. I'll show you my own way, but before we get to that, I just wanted to touch on what the vulnerability is and why it is important to fix it. So the vulnerability that was found is in the Vite server options file. All of the server.fs.deny options can be bypassed with the double forward slash. And why is that a problem? It's a problem because the server.fs.deny is the list that Veet sends the Veet file server to tell it not to serve these particular files. In the normal instance, it's telling the file server not to serve the .env files. If you're like me, I like to test my CSS styles on my phone to make sure that it looks good on a mobile device. And so I always use the dash dash host option. The dash dash host option is what allows you to access your development version locally on your network. When you're using the dash dash host, any person that has access to your network would be able to go in and read your .env files. You can see how that's definitely not what you would want. You don't want people to just be able to access your env files just because they're connected to your network just because someone is connected to your internet does not mean that they <laughs> should be able to read the env files for an application that you have running so definitely don't want to do that i will leave a link in the description of the video to this so you can see what versions are affected and what versions are patched i will also put a link in there to the npm docs as well so the easiest way to check first of all is inside of your source code Go to your package.json and you can see what version of Vite is being used in your dev dependencies. I'm using 4.3 in this one, so that's clearly a problem. This needs to get updated. So that's one way. But how does NPM recommend? NPM recommends that in your terminal, you do an NPM outdated and you run that command and it will tell you all of the outdated packages that you have. So to update those, you just run NPM update and npm will update those packages then run the outdated command again to make sure that they were all in fact updated now one thing i've noticed is that sometimes the npm update command will run it will install something but when you run the npm outdated command again some of the same packages will be flagged if that happens you can simply run npm install and the package so let's say in this case it was vite and it was not updating and it was telling you that the latest version was 4.39 you would explicitly type in npm install vite at 4.3.9 and it will make sure to install that to the correct version the specific instance that i'm referring to uh, had to do with eslint plugin for react refresh i was trying to update it earlier to 0.41 and it just would no matter how many times i ran update it would install and then say it was still the old version so I had to use this just earlier today, npm install the package and then at the version that you want. So that is how you update your packages. Make sure that you update Vite to the latest version. Definitely don't want your .env files to get taken advantage of. So make sure that that's updated. So there it is for today. I hope that you found this video helpful. Stay tuned, I've got more great content coming very soon. Take care and as always, have a great day. Mm -hmm.